Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we will understand some of the more Git commands that might be useful during your test automation journey. Now, whatever we have covered is good enough for you as a test automation engineer to work with Git and GitHub and also use the same concept. Say, for example, if you are using Bitbucket, I'll come up with the, another tutorial with Bitbucket as well. But if you know Git commands, it doesn't matter whether you are using any sort of ID. There are support that is available within the ID. So, for example, this PyCharm, right, is even Eclipse. They have the support for Git, right? So if you go to Git, you can directly, you know, uh, use the command. You can commit, push, update, pull, fetch. All of these details or all of the things that we have understood from the command line, you can do directly from the IDs as well. But this is very specific to ID and it is not recommended to basically, I mean, you can use it, but to understand the core concept, it's always adv advisable to go through the command line. And even these, you know, features, if you see, they in turn, like the, the, the underlying thing is when you do a commit or push, it's basically calling that command or forming the command and then firing that command to basically perform the action, right? So learn through command line. That will be really helpful. It won't affect you if you are switching to Java and you are using Eclipse that you don't have to, you know, like struggle. What exactly happens when we say merge or, you know, branches? So you basically understand all of these concepts. Okay. So let's quickly go ahead and see the cheat sheet that we have been referring right so this is basically what we have covered we have created the repository you can clone the repository so which we have uploaded in the github and we can clone and directly you know start working on that to initialize the repository it is git init uh, which will create a new local repository then observing the repository status will give you the list of modified files right diff is another good command i mean which will you will use very frequently so git diff will give you the changes or show you the changes changes that haven't been staged yet and there are multiple parameters uh, arguments that you can use with git diff right so for example showing the changes between two commit so you can see git diff commit one commit two specify the commit ids and it will show you the differences between the two commits right then if you scroll down you will see the log right this is another important one so do not go into i mean git itself is a huge sort of if you start learning and you are a developer you can keep exploring git and there are so many things that you can learn in git but for the test automation whatever has been covered in this particular tutorial is good enough and if you need something just go through and ask and google around and you will find the solution for it okay so log will show you the full change history and, and then there are different variants of log as well then branch we have covered like we are working with branches to create the branch and check out hyphen b will create a branch and then switch to that particular branch and then git branch will create a new branch okay then so with this one it creates a new branch but it doesn't switch to that branch if you say git branch new branch but git checkout hyphen b and the branch name will create a branch as well as switch to that particular branch then if you want to you know like uh, check out so merge basically merge branch a into branch b then you can use this git merge which you have covered in the last tutorial so git merge branch a and tagging is another thing which is required i mean in the development it, they do a lot of it but in the test automation it's not too much required then making a change so adding the file to the staging area git add with the file name if you just want to specify the file or adding everything that is there ready to be committed so any changes git add dot will add all of the changes then to commit git commit hyphen f uh, hyphen m and the commit message if you do not want to do the commit right so say for example how can you reset so i have done some changes okay let's see let's uh, here i have added something okay comment test there okay and we'll say git status let me open again so we are here in the git as debt one folder right feature abc branch and if i'll say git status will show that there has been a change this has modification right so if i say git add and dot it will add it to the staging area so this file will get added to the staging area and you will see that it is ready to be committed right but say for example i do not want to commit it right so in that case what you do is git reset right so git reset so it will unstage the files right this is what we haven't looked at so to unstage the file to stage the file you do you do you know git add and to unstage you, you do git reset and the file name right so we'll simply say git 
reset and which file we want to reset we want to reset base and base driver right so you'll see that it has unstaged changes after reset and if you'll see git status again you'll see that it has moved out of the staged okay so to reset you do the reset and the file name to reset everything to the last commit you just say reset hyphen hyphen hard okay synchronization we have understood about the fetch right so it gets the latest changes from origin no merge and pull gets the latest changes then merges it so basically if you are working in the feature abc branch then if you will say git pull it will pull everything and then merge in your feature abc branch okay then push will push the changes as you see this particular diagram and then to help right to get the help so git command help will give you the help so basically it is very very important so if you see here you will see most of the basic commands that you will use day in day out are already available here as part of the diagram so working directory then to add to the staging area git add and then to commit git commit and then to push so commit will push to the uh, or commit to the local repository right and then to push it to the github which is remote repository then you will use push then to fetch the changes or to pull the changes from say for example remote repository or local repository we use pull or you know fetch and reset to reset the files from the staging area so this is this is one of the cheat sheet and if you go to the atlassian so this link is also very good so this basic git commands are all shown here along with the notes that you need to understand so tell git who you are so these configurations we have covered we have covered creating a new local repository then we have covered about the cloning repository repository which is from the repository path so create a working copy of the local repository and from the remote if you have to specify username and the host specify that as well in case it requires the username and host which which will be in the the case when you are trying to clone the repository from github okay then adding file which is staging area same thing committing and then pushing the changes to the remote repository which is github to push the changes status shows the status and then similarly the connectivity to a remote repository then the branching and the other important one is deleting the branch right and the diff so diff we have already covered like to change or see the differences and then tagging and log is another one right so to delete the branch say for example i am done with my feature development okay so we'll say git status so this hasn't been committed yet and we'll say git branch we are on the feature abc branch but say for example my work is all committed so i'll say git add let me commit it first and then i'll say git commit hyphen m and just put some message there and then we'll say git status right and we are on the feature on branch feature abc now this is still on feature abc branch say for example just assume that we have completed the work in feature abc and this is what this all of this code has been merged into the main branch now we do not need this branch anymore right so to de delete it we'll say git the the command so the command is git branch hyphen d and the branch name right to delete the feature branch so we'll say git branch hyphen d and the branch name is feature underscore abc right so what it says is cannot delete branch because it is checked out right so what we need to do is we change the branch so we'll simply say check out we switch the main branch we switch to some other branch and then run this delete command okay now again the error because this branch is not fully merged so once the branch is fully merged then you will be able to delete it okay so these are some of the very important concepts that you will understand when you will keep practicing more okay so if i use hyphen small d it won't force delete it and it will show me that it because i haven't merged it right so i haven't merged i have merged the code into the feature abc but i haven't merged it into the main branch so the code is still only in feature abc so if i I'll delete it then the code that is there in the feature abc and git is smart enough to recognize all those changes and give us the appropriate messages but if i do not want the changes that i have done in in this feature abc then i can hard delete or force delete the branch as well so hyphen capital d will force delete this branch even though the code that is there in feature abc is not merged into the main branch or the master branch okay so at the moment the code is there only in the feature branch and it is not fully merged so that is why i'm getting this error but if i have to delete or do the hard delete i'll simply use this hyphen capital d okay so i'll simply say git branch capital d feature abc and it will delete that branch and if we'll say git branch 
you will see now we only have one branch okay so these are some of the very important commands so to de delete the branch because usually when you are done with your work you will be merging everything into the main or master branch and then deleting the branch because if you are working on 10 different features you will be sort of if creating 10 different branches and not deleting them it will be a lot of clutter okay then the other important one is git log to see what all logs are in, in terms of chain set and ids everything you will be able to understand that okay so this if you see the overall page here we have covered almost everything that is mentioned here in both of these cheat sheets right so status connected to repositories branches updating from the remote repositories tags you won't be needing too much but it is pretty simple right you can tag the chain sets to the release so basically if you want to have a chain set that is going to do, go into a certain release then you can do those tagging in the chain set then undoing the local changes which which is basically resetting right and then search which is grep which is more of a linux command to search anything so say for example i want to search something so you can just say git grep git space grep and then the text that you want to search for so say for example i want to search for something which says as that right so you will see that it will search the files and any messages which contain this as that grep will be used to search the working directory for any of the text that you specify against the grep okay so this is basically all about the git and how you are going to use git in your test automation journey or in the software development journey if you are a beginner or intermediate so this is good enough for you to get started and as you build your skills you can go up to any advanced level but this is good enough for the automation person to work on git and github so that's all for this tutorial and i hope you enjoyed this complete series please do share and put your comments because your comments help me to improve and get you a more detailed and better tutorials so thank you and happy learning